Begin by introducing the inner foil pouch into the sterile field. Using the pull tab just inside the pouch, remove the retainer card. On the retainer card, you will find pictures outlining the instructions for user, a pouch containing the powdered peg ester, a vial adapter, a syringe containing the buffer solution and cross-linking components, and a choice of two lengths of cannula. Remove the necessary components from the retainer card, beginning with the syringe, the peg pouch, your choice of cannula, and the vial adapter. Check to ensure that the silicone spike cap is removed from the vial adapter. To reconstitute the crosslinker, begin by ensuring that the lure cap is securely attached to the syringe. Depress the plunger to exchange the buffer solution past both filters at least four times. Remove the lure cap from the syringe and attach the vial adapter. Check to ensure that the silicone cap has been removed. Securely attach the cannula to the vial adapter. Remove the vial from the small foil pouch labeled Peg Ester. Lastly, press the vial septum against the adapter spike until the vial is fully captured by the adapter. Do not depress the plunger at this point. The device is now fully assembled and ready for To mix the components, inject the solution into the vial, shake, release the plunger and allow the solution to flow back into the syringe, shake, and repeat. With the vial pointed upward, inject the solution. Gently shake and release. Gently shake and depress the plunger again. Do not pull back on the plunger as this may introduce air bubbles. While grasping the blue portion of the vial adapter, unscrew the assembly to open the valve. Dispense the first three drops away from the surgical site to prime the cannula. Apply the solution along the suture line such that the sutures are completely covered with hydrogel. The polymerization process can be monitored by dispensing the remaining solution away from the surgical site. The solution will begin to polymerize approximately 25 seconds after the two components are mixed. In most cases, air bubbles have little effect on the gel's properties. However, by following this technique, the visibility of the surgical site can be improved.